Hey there, so if I'm on your scroll and you're in Facebook and you see the video, but you don't have time to watch the whole thing, just share it to your page and then it helps me and then you can watch it later. Okay, thanks. Hey there, it's Cynthia at Create with Cynthia and I am here with this new piece of furniture and it is a big, big massive chest. It opens up to some wonderful cedar inside and I really love all of this beautiful detailing here as well as the detailing on the bottom here. Now this chest was a big hot mess. Uh, when I got it, the feet down here uh, were all um, kind of the wood had split and they were broken and so um, and so what I had to do is have my furniture man come over and repair them. So um, we added new feet. This one is a little crooked. I'm hoping when I get it all painted and pretty, you won't notice it. But these little feet, this one about here, down. What we did was when I moved into the woods, uh, the old owners had left a table, a wooden table here, and it had some big long legs on it and the legs were uh, a mess. The table broke as soon as I tried to move it and she had to like tape with duct tape together with that bad. Um, but the legs, I kept the legs because I thought you never know if you're going to use them, need them for something, want to use them. So um, it, they, it worked out perfectly because I was trying to figure out what to do down here and um, so I was able to cut off, he, my furniture guy, was able to cut off the table legs and put them on to the bottom of the bench so that it's super sturdy. Um, there's no no wiggle to it at all. It opens up really nicely. There's a lot of storage space in here. So, Petticoat of Pink is DIY paints light pink color. And then they also have a color called Kissing Booth, which is a brighter pink. And I thought what might be fun is to do some kissing booth in the middle and then do and maybe even down here and maybe in here and then the whole thing this petticoat pink so i want this bench for um, my bedroom upstairs it's a really nice big bedroom and at the edge of my bed uh, it's a perfect spot for a bench i had another bench there that i sold this past weekend um, at the treasure fest and I had never planned to sell it, but when I saw this one on Facebook Marketplace uh, for $40, I thought, I better get that. And so I picked it up, brought it home, and then I was gonna be at Treasure Fest last weekend. So I decided to take the chest upstairs just to see if it sold, and sure enough, it did sell. So um, I wanted to do something similar to the one I did at Treasure Fest, which was, it was a black rounded chest and it had a beautiful floral IOD transfer on the front of it. But it just doesn't really make sense because this chest has the beautiful keyhole and there's this inlay here and this other detailing here. I don't think it needs a transfer. I think it just needs a good paint job. So I'm hoping I'll be able to achieve a good paint job. Um, so today I'm gonna use the Petticoat Pink and I know I'm gonna use this whole can because this is a big piece of furniture. And so um, I've got some gray already on my um, paintbrush, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna leave it on there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting, um, not the top, but everything underneath the edge of the top. And see what I think, you know? So, um, the DIY paint is a chalk paint, clay-based. It's got um, no VOCs, so it's all really good chemicals. Um, and it doesn't have a smell to it. And that's why I didn't want to do the shellac route. You know, any, anytime you paint something that's really dark, it's most likely going to bleed through. And shellac is just like this yucky, stinky stuff. And so it seems so um, kind of counter, counter, I don't know, opposite to be using shellac when you're trying to be healthy and using a paint with no VOCs. That's my thought. So um, anyways, I'm also using this paint pixie paintbrush and it's called the blender. Um, I really like the paintbrush because you can kind of get into the grooves like that. And 
So if you're looking for the DIY paint, you can purchase it from me either online, on my website, createwithcynthia.com, you just go to the shop button, or you can come into the store in Redwood City and get it there.